Welcome, <coughs> dang it, to Dungeon Master. Where is the torch mirror? On a commercial. Welcome to my commercial zone. Skip ahead. We welcome you to the dungeon that is off screen. And now further into the mirror lamp. We don't know whether we start and stop. We start. It looks like Dungeon Master's headed to the field. This is a cave where we see only the shadows, but that myth is so overused now. We have come to the point of overused myth, and all that is left is the destruction of everyone's cubicle. And this is a cubicle a mile, and I see something else ahead. I see where we really need to be. And I'm afraid you had to be interactive with me to see what I'm showing you now is the exact phenomena, only now in a more fictional case of not taking you off the course you were on, but that this is not exactly what I'm showing off. Here we go. That suddenly you're in a torture radius and you're shooting around and there's a dynamite man and there he is with that hair on his neck and nobody needs to know what was on that other map. If they want to play that game still, I want to play the previous one. And that there's a whole boatload of stamina for me in this race. I'm going to throw that pie. That's not what he was throwing, but here comes the plan. Oh yeah, we're going for the submarine, man. Look, it's even got the case over here. Case over here. This is like an art museum YouTube these days. You can just go in here and see Dungeon Master go on forever. And that, I'm not taking credit for this because it's Atari. I just am taking credit for recording the recording that is within the game. And that in and of itself is a spectacle to watch because can you believe this? These are the games that only the true living gamers have ever seen or played, at least on this generation. And come with me to Video Game Lair, where we will price you like circles cubes, and you will fall to the shelf when they are delicious tasting marshmallows. And then you dance with the TV screen. I'm oh, sorry, I tried my chops a little bit there. But it looks like he's puppet mastering the TV, I'm not sure. I do that all the time with my remote. And these games are played by remote. Is this Load Runner? Load Runner, you old dog. All right, enough of that. Dungeon Master, there's the cleric. He's going to do his job with the bishop. The bishop exploded. We're going out here. I don't know where this explosion goes next, but if we throw this ball down here, it might hit the rotating cuff of that. Oh, there it comes the slide again. Hello, if I blast you. Oh, it's not even Galega, it's, oh, it's Stratosphere, it's Defender. Defender fly, defender fly. Oh, what is this? Truck man? Let's check out the cover. I can't read that, can you? Anyways, look at this. Oh, look, it's blazing lightning and shooting down the dogs that are in the sky. I don't like shooting at those things anymore. They keep getting, there's more and more of them. Space invaders, space invaders. This isn't Space Invaders. All right. I got a battleship here. You, you want to sink me? Ha, that's the greatest technology in history. The radar screen for Atari. <laughs> How you going to beat that stratosphere? And look at the arrow qualm. The lifted of the shore. The beatnik of the past. The raging of the con. The outline of the three, and this is your dice roller for Dungeon Master if you need an extra one. Uh, that's a real short clip, so I almost want to rewind it, but then I'll make you as mad as I did when I switched the first game. 
Whew, I thought we'd never get back to the games. And just think of all the games I missed when I fast forwarded it. Now we'll never know what was on Atari because this is a single source of information. Oh, you can go to this page. No, this isn't the single source of information, but it will be one day when everything else is destroyed and nothing else is left on Earth. There will be a rise of druids and they will be atomic supermen. The whole thing, you know. All right, he's flying on a surfboard. Yeah. Rolling down the hill we go, rolling down the hill. I'm gonna smash that blog, yeah, with a hammer. All right, here we go, we gotta get the key. Dungeon Master, can I get the key? I'm gonna throw things down this rope instead. I'm not gonna go all the way down the rope. All right, that's enough of you. Understanding the rules of this game would be double dragon. Yeah, let's kick his ass. Oh, I got it with the uppercut. Oh, all right, here we go. Let's slam this in, bro. Hoop, there it is. White man can't jump. Yeah, what up, Larry Bird? All right, homie, let's throw this in the can. All right, all right. We're making it downtown. We're raking it around. We're raking it around. Okay, he's running up the hill. Look at that ball go high in the sky until it gets so high it gets in the mouth and splatters. Now if these two trucks were going ahead in time, they'd be speeding past each other like they're going out of time. And if there's any memory of all the time we got, I'd really like to help you be the one that I forgot. Because I was playing so many games I could not see straight. And then I realized it was way past late, way past late. Insert date B. Okay, look at these clouds of men floating around. I never owned this game. Do you know where this game came from? It seems like these are a vortex of unplayed, unbought games all of a sudden. Except this one, which has a billion copies sold. And it's called Gizmo, or E.T. Uh, yeah, I knew it was Gizmo. Same thing, E.T. Gizmo, yeah. Oh, he's dropping bombs everywhere. He's going to litter the floor with his bombs. And he's really good at it. So let's see what's happening down here, catching bombs. Down the elevator, elevator to the gallows we go. But the gallows I've come from, so let's go slow. All right. I'm coming to solve a math problem. But if that makes math creatures come any further, then I will destroy you from the ground like you're an alien spacecraft. Like you come at me with a job to do, and this is what you ask me for? All right, he's going forward in this F1 racer. Boo -doo -doo. Let's get the title wrong. All right, he's going down here. It says load runner, but it looks the same way. So, oh, I remember this game. It's what? I can't read that. Okay. I'm always disappointed in the I can't read that. Does anybody want to go back to level one on the other game? No. I'm kidding. Don't get deniably scared when I switch channels. It could be that we're going to the future. But this is so interesting here. Yeah. I've decided to stay. <laughs> See what I did there? I made you think I was going to switch frames. You're all losing it because you're looking for the game you want to play. And it could be anywhere on this timeline. But this timeline seems so inveterately paced and slow that I'm skipping it anyway. But looky here, we got a commercial, commercial. These nuisances of switching jobs are like, stop it. Okay. That is the magic lantern of Mario. Please don't. What does that say? You still can't read it. This is an advanced game for Atari. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. We got rope ladder pit on a building. Rope ladder pit on a building, anyone? That is flying around and skying around. He really did change the channel and now we missed a ton of games? And this is really the only place we can watch that? And the only time you could find a video game like this is now? And he switched it? Oh, sorry, I was just getting my backup commentary. It all pissed off that I switched the frame at the beginning. I'm not going to do it again, though, am I? Oh, they're voting no, dude. They're right at the right place. This might be the game they're looking for. It might be hidden back in the stack, but this is the only chance they get to see this. Or they could look it up on YouTube. 
and make their own movie out of it and have way more success than this video. Just a hint. But you too can make your own Dungeon Master video. We know how. You push record on a YouTube screen. And then you say a bunch of random shiznit. And then you record it. And it doesn't even have to match the image. But strangely, our voice patterns always have a way of opposing speech in our mind. That it creates a rhythmic tone that's like poetry. That follows the images exactly as they play, even as we talk any kind of way we talk. And I didn't make that up. Dungeon Master says, where Triangle Diamond Box goes, there are people lassoing cowboy. Those must be cows. Baby cows? It's the Misfits the video game. Oh, he's shooting around. He's shooting around the blush. He's shooting around in rush. All right, we got this metal thing in the air, and it's blowing up, and it looks worthy of some kind of entrance, and we're blowing down, and whoa, what was that, dude? Turn off that purple frog. These games rule, dude. I don't know if I lost the game in there, or if there is another game, or if these are even games, dude. Slow down, Atari. These must be advanced. We're going into advanced mode. Crap. Hang on. I know what you're going to say. It's insert. Tape. C. <coughs> this is Dungeon Master for the whole report of the casting of uh, Dungeon Master's Guild. The Dungeon Master's Guild has approved me as Dungeon Master on the lower realm. That I will be a midi sorcerer is because I am demoted from not giving a level up on the last 15 levels, which I don't think any of you have earned, though we've come a hard trek since level 45. And it was a scale wall at level 53, but level 55 I betrayed us all and gave a scoot board to a walnut. And I don't mean to use a term that could be used out of context, but it means my uncle's frisbee cat. And if you could toss me this world of... Oh, it's Empire Strikes Back. I haven't described this game in the video game book. It's the one game we've seen that I describe. I actually got a game right. I got a game right. This is so beautiful. And it's such a good game. I only showed for three seconds. And See, that was the game I was looking for, so show yourselves up. Whatever game you were looking for, you didn't get. But I got the good one because I got the game I was looking for without even no noticing about what what? Oh, without even knowing it, being there the video game I wanted. It's a video game I want without knowing it was the one. Yep, that's what I'm saying. At least I got that. <laughs> run, Sally, run. Look at me, and I'll see a world of your imagination. All right, you see, you see what's in your imagination before you, just like you read, but this is your imagination being completely blown into a tizzy and thrown off a fizzle stick. For the future of all humanity defends these games from being the original cult classics. What does that say? I can't read it. But it looks like strawberry shortcake and banana jams. And why are these cars going scooty and this guy's going flatty flat? Hmm. There comes a time in my own life to have known that we never condemn the things we see throughout which the world has seen of the things we condemn of ourselves of which the world can know. Which is nothing of the sort of what kind of trouble I'm having or just where this damn crown goes. And why won't this ship move and crash? 
Jeez, man, that's it's trash, you stupid ship. Oh, my battleship escaped. And why is Star Wars on again? And who put Defender back on? Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I know not to talk that way in front of people that play this game. But I don't know what Dungeon Master's going to do. He told me he's not going to give us a level up. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to give us a level up. No, I'm not really crying. I just had allergies, but he's not going to give us a level up for this. No, he says we're having too much fun. I'm not having any fun. These games are old. They're boring. I'm sitting here playing them over and over, but it's a different game each time. You just watching them makes me want to just watch paint dry, really. I mean, raise your hand. And then all of a sudden, if they turn off, we're all, no, 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 go back to the game. I'm like, because it's boring and it's lame and it's old. No, 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 go back to the game, you know. And then all of a sudden I switch games. No, 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 stay here. We got to see it. And that's just me reacting to it. I don't know how you at home feel. Because if you at home feel really, like, sad about playing video games and falling apart over them and seeing the game... You don't need the game, but the game needs you, man. The game needs you because it's alive only with you. You have to perpetuate its first motion. You're the first principle of the video game turning on the switch, how it's made. Nobody knows it's made by aliens and shipped to us from far off planets. I know a few of them. I mean, planets, not stars, that make video games. Yes, you must have weird ghosts float around, weird ghosts float. I am looking for Morph Job. He is around here somewhere. May I find him in your dweller lair? This is the way to the Shrink Hotel where we find a small hotel shrunk. And where we find this water of steam that is invalid in its prime oh, down the tunnel so we go merry christmas ho de ho this is my favorite game you know that's what i play on this is dungeon master show bang bang on the door baby bang bang okay we're in this maze and oh already a snake Party snake. Oh, that's gonna suck, dude. Mazer snake, Mazer snake. Who wants Mazer snake? I want the gold. Oh, this is another Star Wars game, huh? What are there? Just Star Wars games corner in the market? Cause I'm cool with that. But if all this whole thing is a Star Wars, I'm gonna get in trouble. All right, here we go. Down this door. This might be a Star Wars game. Let's see what. It, no, let's not even see what it says. We know we won't be able to read it. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I put my reader's glasses on. Yeah, that's, uh, eight, uh, uh, I can't read it. Oh, we're going down the store, and we fly over here, and we're flying around here, and, um, that's cool, because this is underwater? Sword Quest. Hmm, that almost makes me want to have a spin-off, but it looks like Dungeon Master is hitting an extension here. Not a level up. But maybe a little extra time. Who wants extra time on today's Dungeon Master? Anyone? No? You don't? I say we do anyway. Here's the beer mat. Here's the beer mat. Look at where the money goes. Look at where the money goes. This is money we spend on these games and we... Love spending it, and that's why we made this game, is because we love spending money on games. That's the whole point of the game. We actually do. I'm going to choke the ghost and beat the roast. This is much more than I've decided for since the frogs hit the channel. And the dousing on the spider wick, and the jumping through the skeleton, and it's just a regular day at witchcraft school. And here we go. The Tempest. This is a made by Shakespeare game. And how I could read that, I have no idea about Tempest. I know that game by the back of my hand, and this is backhand. So you've got to know this game like the back of your hand. Maybe somebody could tell me that there might be a reason to extenuate the feeling of what we're having. But something's telling me you meant it when you said you were bored. 
And now Atari is trying because it doesn't want to bore you. It wants to educate and enlighten and have fun with you. And now you're like, well, oh, Atari, I'm sorry. It really was Tamari that I was going to tell you I'm not bored anymore. So let's have a 420 floor for all the things we're going to score when the aliens snore. You know, aliens snore, get it? When I kill an alien, it's like Z, Z, Z. Like Final Fantasy dead, you know? Alien snore? Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah. Fixing a hole where the rain gets in and stops my mind from wandering where it will go. And so the rhythmic voice pattern follows the pace of the long sentence that goes around and comes around and sees how the longevity of it all is one of those things you have to press for in the agency of all things. For instance, the press room would say, turn it off, we don't like it. And that means they're secretly bombarding all the channels it's on and keeping them for themselves as their own show, not just to get rid of, but because they love it so much, they're getting rid of it. Now that's usually how these schedules are canceled. I remember in Dungeon Master 22 of 98, this part right next to the Legend of Zelda. Only this part wasn't in it. A psych. Oh, see what I did there? I thought you made. The hand has cometh to the screen and is obeying all commands on the Atari. And the Atari has cometh to life among men, among assortment of crimes, among destiny, among radius among video drums and lightning stocks and kilowatts and turtle folders and things I haven't seen inside. And that's a boxing game. He just clobbered him down. All right, so this guy's walking across the field, across the dungeon master, say. Cleric has done too much damage today. We must find a control center to the radius of this. Where were we going? What games did we miss? Why did we skip the first game in the first place? We were playing that. And what was it all for, these other games? But we must apologize to Atari again for insulting it. Of course there's a reason we played what we did. Of course the life has a purpose. We play games for a reason. They're the games that we play at the time. And there's always a reason for it. But that's the secret of the gamer that nobody knows. That only they know is why we play the game. And that's why that question is never answered. And it's an insult to think that we're not literally built in our DNA to play the game in the first place. So of course for playing the game, it was built into our DNA, whether we like it or not, whether you like it or not. I'm playing because I was, baby, I was born that way. Yes. Anyone with me? Who's with me on the video game revolution? Starting here. Uh, Dungeon Master? Dungeon Master? Yes, my student of all things Grayskull, of the Mount of the Fresh of Clown Hobo in the Master Bed. And you will see the cloister of the Ocean Roar, and you will know the troll in everything's your. And you spike to me the lessons clear. Never was a ghost come near. Never seek you off the face. Never flew a different chase. Never was a different pace. Had to carry off my case. Atari, how glory are you? How we have forgiven the Japanese for you. Of all things that we already forgave them for. But because of this, we have a twinge of doubt. Never will the Japanese let us down again. Because they can't. Because this is where it all peaked. And if you don't believe me, you haven't been watching Dungeon Master. But I have to tell you, my will for this adventure is growing weary. I have reached a solitude of my own mind's combination of itself with 
the mind lock of others about a thing that a distance will do to you when you scream out and nothing hears and you shout out and no one hears and you record a movie and no one knows it's there or you put something online and it whistles true to nothing and goes on down the void without being anything and then you come back and you realize people are asking you questions about this movie they've never seen to wonder what it's like and even in the wonder what it's like and never seen or never heard of it it makes them excited to know it exists somewhere and that it exists somewhere is giving me a really tingly feeling right now because of all the work I haven't seen that I should have I know it's got to be there because I feel that tingly feeling about like how it's there somewhere and that's what this reminds me of is, is how it's there somewhere this game is somewhere and we missed a lot of games and I'm frustrated too but not with the Atari just with our lack of time and how I've grown weary for this world because you can only play the game so long and then it plays you but the game needs you you don't need the game the game needs you and that is about the key of self-help I can deal with um no we're not going to try to just slam shut this gate of aversion but I don't know how else to make an excuse about how to say this but well there's just something on my mind that I just can't get out but it seems like I'm out of reach with something I want to share I just would like to well I, I can't seem to pull away from the game you see I'm trying to think of a clever way to, well, you know, file this one in the bucket, but I can't think of a way to say it other than I can't believe this dungeon. This dungeon is like wild. It's like the wild tree fresh of an adventure in Lockland. It's like something I roped out for some uh, braille and some kind of incidental journey of some spectatorial nonsense about some villa that some practical fiend wrote out for himself in the desert and then practically splayed in the book his own body parts what the book should read and it said this atari is god no one else stopped bowing before atari and then i found that out this way by seeing all the games i never played and all these games are banned forever because i'm keeping all of them and that's the way i feel about fucking atari and you can just like cheese me later for it but that's how i feel so if there's any further questions about how I feel. No further questions, Your Honor. Insert tape D.